Uh, today we will going to see how we can operate an LCD. So create a new circuit. Drag Arduino, then search LCD. Take this one, not I to see this one. Now rotate Arduino. It will make our connections easier. <clears throat> Okay, now see, uh, ground will be connected to ground. VCC will be connected to 5 volts. Uh, here. Now VO, this is contrast. Uh, we ground it normally. And read write, it is also grounded. Okay, now uh, RS pin, you can connect it to any pin and enable, it can also be connected to any pin, but it is better to be in order. Okay, then leave these four data pins because four data pins are enough for LCD. We will start from D4. Okay, connect it here. Let's move it. Okay, then five, six, and seven. Now these two pins are of an LED. Uh, the LCD has a backlight, and these are connections for that backlight. We will connect it to positive LED anode, and uh, cathode will be connected to negative. Okay, uh, this is a node connected to 5 volt. We can connect it uh, to VCC because it is already connected to 5 volt. And then this will be grounded. Uh, but it must be grounded through a resistor. Search a resistor. If we directly ground it, LCD will get burned. Okay, rotate it. Uh, here and it will be connected through a resistor. <clears throat> okay, a circuit is done, completed. Uh, now let's write the program. Code, uh, blocks, then text. Okay, just delete it. Now we will use library of uh, LCD. Uh, libraries are ready-made software. We can use them and it makes our program very easy. Now see this uh, this one. You can uh, import libra libraries from here. Uh, see this liquid crystal just include. Now this library is included. There are many functions we will see shortly and we can use it. Okay then now go to Google search liquid crystal uh, liquid crystal arduino okay you will you will see this liquid crystal arduino reference just click it okay this is all the uh, details of this library these are different versions and these are different functions we can use in our program okay just first of all uh, see this one liquid crystal there are different versions, but we will use only this one. Okay, now see how we can use it. Uh, copy it and paste it here. Uh, okay, now see uh, liquid crystal is a library and to enter the library we need a pass or a ticket. It is just like we go to cinema or a stadium to watch the match. We must have a pass or a ticket by which we can enter the stadium and we can access different features. Uh, similarly, we first we create a pass. 
and uh, the way of creating a pask is that you just write the name of the library after that write the name of part uh, pass you can write your own name but uh, as we are using lcd so we will write lcd here you can use any name okay now see this uh, first we will tell where rs is connected enable is connected and where data pens are connected first of all we we will see uh, where rs is connected now see uh, this is rs and it is connected to pin 2 so i will write 2 that means rs is connected to 2 then we will see enable it is connected to pin 3 after that we will see data pin it is uh, these pins are connected at 4 5 6 and 7 so 4 5 6 and 7 okay pass is created now we will use our blocks and uh, these two blocks are very necessary in uh, every program uh, void setup and void loop okay now go to setup first of all we will use lcd dot begin it will configure our lcd to run and uh, this LED is 16 by 2. 16 by 2 means it has two lines and you can write 16 characters in each line. Now see, uh, one line and there, there is two line and there are 16 columns. So it is called a 16 by 2 LCD. Two lines, 16 characters in each line. Okay, now see, uh, we will write here uh, 16 by 2 or 16 2 as we are going to use this uh, uh, LCD which is 16 by 2 okay then we will just write LCD dot print now see this is the path we created LCD and we are accessing different uh, functions of uh, this library begin we accessed uh, begin and then we are accessing print LCD dot print and here we will write hello world that's it program is done now let's uh, check see it is working okay it is a a bit dim we can make it brighter if we decrease uh, this resistance okay it is 1k just click it and make it 100 ohm now let's check oh it got burned so it, this resistance must be a bit higher okay uh, make it uh, 220 use minimum possible resistance see it is now brighter uh, now let's try some other functions uh, we have used this one we have used begin clear it will clear lcd everything will be deleted home it will uh, bring it from the start position and uh, set cursor will uh, help us in writing at various position okay just open it and let's see okay lcd dot set cursor column and row first we will set column and then row okay now let's try uh, okay let's uh, i want to write hello world here okay now let's see how we can do it First, we will set the cursor position. Okay, LCD dot set cursor. First, I will tell the column. Uh, let's say fifth column. Fifth column will be around here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. It will be around here uh, at the center. And call uh, row zero. This is row zero. This is row zero, and this is row one. Okay, uh, let's see if it works or not. Okay, see. If I write, um, let's say three, it will write it uh, at the third position. It will start from third position. Okay, so in this way we can uh, write at various positions. 
Now let's say I want to uh, write in the second line. What I will do? I will uh, write three and uh, make it one. One means uh, the second line. Okay. Okay. Now let's try some other functions. Uh, set cursor, write, print, print. We are using cursor. It will show cursor. Um. Okay. Let's. I write it here. LCD dot cursor. See. Okay, now see these are other uh, functions too. Blink, it will blink the text. No blink, it will stop blinking. Display, it will show the text. No display, it will disappear the text. Okay, this uh, this function will scroll. Uh, left, right, you can scroll. Okay, now. Okay, let's go to the loop. Okay, uh, we wrote hello world, and inside the loop. I will use lcd dot lcd dot scroll display left. Okay, and then we should give a delay. Uh, delay, let's say two hundred, and that's it. It will write hello world and it will scroll it to the left. See? You can increase speed if you decrease this number. Okay, make it uh, 100. Now it will, it will move faster. Now let's use uh, blink. Okay. LCD dot blink. So it will do this. Okay, now um, LCD dot no display. No display. Then uh, delay, and after that, LCD dot display. Uh, wait, display is a capital D or small or small D? Display, and uh, again a delay of uh, one thousand. One thousand means uh, one second. Okay, so error uh, is because we didn't put uh, semicolon here. Semicolon is very important. Always remember that. Okay, now let's see what it does. See? It will blink. It is a uh, no display, then display, no display, display. It will blink it. You can uh, increase its speed. If you increase, decrease, delay. Now see. Okay, so uh, this is how we can use LCD and there are different functions. If you want to try other functions, you can uh, Google uh, this library and you will see the documentation. In that documentation, you will see how to use all the functions and uh, also you will find some examples. For example, let's say uh, Blink. Okay, it has no example. But many functions has, uh, for example, liquid crystal. Let's see. Now see, you will see example also. So in this way, you can run LCD and uh, you can try its uh, different functions.